Hello everybody, this is Tiziano and today we are writing a script for controlling the drone with only the key arrows of our keyboard. In order to do that, we're going to be using Python and DroneKit. You can control your drone with basically whatever you want, your joystick, your keyboard or just push button. What is important is that you send up the right commands. Now DroneKit lets you to send different type of commands like in position mode or in velocity mode and today we are going to discover the velocity mode. Last time we used the go to function that allowed the system to just go to a waypoint but this time we are controlling the system in velocity mode. On today's scripts we are going to be sending velocity reference in body frame but you can, be, you can use the very same function, just changing the reference frame to send, a, to send velocity references in inertial reference frame. So let's get started and follow me in the next tutorial. We started writing our script by importing the very same libraries that we used for our first tutorial. Then we import tkinter TKinter is a library that is very useful for creating quick graphical user interface. We define ground speed as 5 meters per second and ground speed will be the default speed that we're sending with, the, with our arrow keys. Then we arm and take off and we copy and paste the, the um, function that we already wrote in our first tutorial. And then comes the fun part. Now we write the set velocity body function and we pass Vx, Vy and Vz the components of the body velocity. We're going to be using the set position target local net encode method of message factory inside our vehicle object. And uh, we start our function passing 0, 0, 0 as the first three objects, uh, the first three parameters. And then we set up map frame body NED as our reference frame. Now we're going to use, uh, we're going to set up a bit mask. Now this bit, uh, bit mask is a little tricky. Uh, actually, uh, you have to read it from starting from the right and has one if the bit um, should be um, ignored and zero to read the beat. So the first three beats on the right are the um, position and then we have three beats for velocity and then three beats for acceleration. And as you see we said zero 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 only uh, in correspondence to the velocity so we want to read the velocity. And so we pass velocity vx, by v zeta as <coughs> the as part of our function and then we send mavlink message. Now we write the key callback function and this is going to be pretty easy uh, because we just have to write down an if else um, an if else check and we check if the, the, the key that is passed is a, is a standard key or not. If, it is, if it's a standard key then we check if it's an R and if it's an R then we set the vehicle to return to launch mode. If it's not a standard key, then we check if it's uh, an arrow key. And if it's up, we send ground speed as the Vx component. If it's down, we set negative ground speed as the Vx component. If it's left, we send negative ground speed as the Vy component. And of course, if we press right, we send ground speed as the Vy component. And that's it. Um, now we just write the main function that it will be only arm and take off and then we create a TK inter object we call it root and this object doesn't do anything rather than binding to all the keyboard uh, the key interrupt from our keyboard. So we use the method bind all we pass 
all the keys of our keyboard and, we, we, and then we create a main loop uh, function. This main loop actually makes the system be um, active. It's like having an um, infinite while loop. We start our simulator map proxy and we can add mission planner as we did in the first tutorial. And then we start our script connected to the UDP port. Okay, the system arms and take off. Okay, the system arms and takes off. Once the altitude is reached, then we are good to go. Now I'm pressing the up arrow key and the system moves forward. Nice. Now I press the left arrow key and the vehicle moves left. Nice. Now I press the down arrow key and the vehicle moves backwards. And in the end, I just press R and the system and the system mode becomes return to launch and the vehicle comes back and lands. Now that wasn't hard at all, and we used just a few extra lines of Python with respect to the first tutorial, and we introduced also a new package, TKinter. By the way, check out the documentation because it's an amazing package. You can build your ground control station or graph your telemetry. It's incredible. Now that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.